Well, hello there! Ladies and gentlemen, Gungans, droids, Sith Lords, whatever you might be, my gosh, let me tell you, it's great to be in the Empire today. Wouldn't you agree? Now, I know this week we've been kind of distracted with the boss nest, the new uprising of the Gungan Grand Army. We still having a good time with him. But let me tell you, I, I, I think we're all more secretly excited about the future of Dark Bane. We are about a little over a week away from the first people unlocking Dark Bane. I can't wait to test them out with you. But it kind of flew under the radar. Darth Bane, before even being released, it seems like they already gave him a massive bomb that a lot of us should be talking more about and getting you even more excited about what Darth Bane is going to do in Star Wars Galaxy. So let me go ahead and let me give you a little bit of tour on what's happening here. Bring him on over, Gary. So Darth Bane's kit reveal back in December. What was the biggest thing that people were pointing out, I pointed out, is the fact that <sighs> against things like Jedi Master Kenobi or even Supervisor Kyle Ren for that matter it would pretty much prevent ba Bane from doing something really darn amazing which was starting off the battle with 100% Terminator you know, like Dr. Raffa we, we you know we love Dr. Raffa she's great outrunning the Jabba's a variety of other teams of course but the second you go up against Jedi Master Kenobi Supervisor Kyle Ren she basically kind of falls flat at that point because 100% Terminator is very much so preventable easily and you want darth bane to start really really early because at the very start of the battle he can increase the cooldowns by one of the enemy which can't be resisted and Arnold, why are we talking about this yeah we saw the kit reveal yeah we talked about all this and, you know, and my, my way of trying to make you guys feel good about this when we brought this up and i said he might just be a character that's just meant to die against kenobi because remember when bane dies off he's gonna be granting tons and tons of stats to the remaining Sith character. See, when, whenever enemies defeated, that's all the other fun stuff you got going on here. But you're also going to get all the other, the other bonuses here with the 5% critical damage off it. So I was assuming maybe Commander Tano's going to insta-kill Bane, and then Bane just supercharged Sith Eternal, and he's on his way. He's good to go. But we just got an update, and it really kind of just was like hidden in the cracks here. Our update on 221 just the other day, and they left a little note here about Darth Bane, and I feel like they're not... Um, they're not giving themselves enough credit on what they did here. So check this out. Darth Bane looks ever onward for every advantage he can get over his opponent. The Omicron description for Rule of Two, which we just showed down, uh, showed just a moment ago, now states he will take a bonus turn if conditions are met instead of gaining 100% turn meter. That is a big change. Now, they, they kind of say this there. So my guess is maybe Bane was doing something different and what they wrote down because remember 100 terminator is not a bonus turn as i'll demonstrate here in a moment but as you can see they said here this matches bane's language and mechanic to more accurately reflect the existing function so we obviously we haven't tested out kenobi versus darth bane we haven't really seen this but because mechanical reasons he could previously circumvent jane kane's anti terminator league, there has been no way of testing out so obviously they did some hey they tested their game out before he got released which hey they're learning they, they remember that leviathan scenario although this is a good thing for our favor he still does, but it's more consistently to how we handle this interaction elsewhere in the game. So again, they saw it was doing something different when they were doing their testing, and they made sure it was more accurately reflected because again, 100% Terminator Kenobi can shut down. So let me go over here and just kind of show you, for example, the just the why this is such a big deal. So I'm going to literally take you know Doctor Afro up against, let's say, a Jedi Master Kenobi, or you know again, you think of other teams that exist out there. So Perimeter Kyron with Hux shuts down Terminator. Those are pretty much the two primary GLs that have sort of sort of sort of anti terminator shutdown mechanics so we're gonna go up against kenobi and again let's just pull out dr afra so we're gonna go get our dr afra up and running and remember the, the bread and butter that dr afra has is the fact that she for most teams out there she could just simply outrun them so long as there's btb and uh trip they give tons of terminator and bada bing bada boom we're good to go so uh actually let's go show a java battle i think i saw a java just so we could see why it's important so all right one more time let's go ahead Clear out all these folks, drop in our Dr. Affer and whatever else we want to throw in there. Not we don't really need anything much as long as we have BT trip. That's pretty much all we need. So where are you at, buddy? Uh BT trip and I don't know, just throw some uh, random stuff in here. All right. So again, this is nothing new. We know Dr. very well. We know her strengths and weaknesses. But before they did this patch, fix, buff, whatever you want to call it, uh Bane was gonna operate in the sense of Afra, like we read, because again, that's how it read. So again, look, Afra starts off, cooldown increase, which again is what we want Bane to do. Bane is gonna be Dr. Afra-ish. 
and you're able to get that out there. Beautiful, right? Big deal. We increased everyone's cooldowns right away. Fantastic. But again, using Dr. Afra again as the example, because it read very similarly with Dark Bane and Afra being of a similar vein. Let's hop to a Kenobi. And all of a sudden, Afra, she's kind of outside of her forte. She, you know, she can't get the turn meter because again, Kenobi is the king of turn meter. He just shuts it down completely. So now we go in here and it's going to be a much different battle. And this is why it, we were like 90% excited for Bane because in this battle, the battle people really want to see is Sith Eternal just dismantle Jedi Master Kenobi. All of a sudden, it's not quite the same. I can't outrun them. I can't increase their cooldown. And that's really it. And, you know, Commander Tano insta kills, game over. So we would imagine Commander Tano was going to insta kill the Darth Bane. But again, we thought, all right, maybe Darth Bane's so good, he just feeds a bunch of stats to the Eternal, all the other bonuses that he gives, and Sith Eternal handle his way. But now, they reworded this completely different at this point, where now Bane is going to operate like a Watt Tambor. And that is a massive difference in operation actually you know what go ahead and give me let's put doctor from back in just so you can show we'll have the 100 percent terminator character and we'll have the bonus turn and then we'll show it in the java battle so again you can kind of see a before and after so let's go ahead get ourselves uh watt tambor so the fact that bane is now a watt tambor is a massive play so again now we i want you guys to imagine watt tambor is the darth bane in this particular battle so we're gonna get in there and remember, Darth Bane is like Dr. Vore. He can increase cooldowns. Turn one. Kenobi can't shut down Watt. The only thing that can stop a Watt is another bonus turn character that's faster than Watt or Han Solo. Han Solo is always going to go first no matter what. And look, just, just imagine with me, this is Darth Bane's cooldown increase ability. We'd be able to just increase cooldowns on Kenobi right away, which can't be resisted. And all of a sudden, Kenobi can't do the cooldown uh, reduction on Cat. Cat can't insta-kill. You can see how that's a much better scenario to be in. And just to show you a comparison here, where there is no anti terminator bonus turn is vastly superior over bonus terminator. Now, let me show you this. So again, we're going to go into the Java battle, which we already demonstrated. Afra can outrun because she gets the 100% terminator from BT and Trip, pairing up to give her that uh, terminator boost. But now check this out. This is just better even in this scenario, where, where Bane would have been fine with 100% terminator. This is even better, where now, Look at this again. Watt Tambor, he's our honorary Sith Lord. It looks like the game. <laughs> okay. And it's, this is going to be so broken for Bane that even the game can't keep up with it. But as you're going to see there in a second, oh gosh. Uh, like as you're going to see there in a second, uh, our Watt Tambor was going to get out there, get the big opening play. And this again is better. Even in situations, there's a lot of other scenarios out there where there's teams that go beyond 100% Terminator. You know, think of like BB-8, the droids, or not, nah, they actually can't get above 100% Terminator. There's actually not many. Like, I guess Hondo is kind of one of them as well. Uh, yeah, there's not there's not too many that go above 100% Terminator. It's usually 100% Terminator, that's it. But imagine a scenario where there was a team or character that maybe is eluding my, my memory, where they could turn one, get beyond 100% Terminator, then Darth Bane wouldn't be able to go first in that particular battle. So again, a bonus turn is just vastly superior over anything else. So really the only thing that maybe stopped Bane is like a faster Bane <laughs> on the enemy team. But actually, all right, let's roll this one more time. So you can see this, but I don't know if there is gonna be a Bane on the opposing Sith Eternal because you need to have only two to get all these bonuses and you can't do only two on defense. All right, so again, this just shows that Afra is pre-Bane buff where she, you know, she can't go first. The bonus turn is vastly superior so right here Watt Tambor or our honorary Sith Lord Darth Bane in disguise would go first increase cooldowns and that's a big deal and then Afra, you know this just shows what Bane would have been like so this is a buff in several regards not just up against Kenobi anti-terminator things like you know General Hux whatever the case might be but even in scenarios where like this the bonus turn is going to be so much better so Hopefully this gets you guys a little bit more excited. I know there's already a ton of hype surrounding the, the future of Darth Bane inside of Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. I know I'm stoked about it. We got some cool stuff that we're working on here to get you even more pumped about the guy in my free-to-play account. We're working diligently to get that gold crate back to back to back. So hopefully I'll have Darth Bane within the next month or two for uh, the free-to-play account. But all of a sudden that rule of two, getting a change, a simple couple words being changed is a massive, massive difference. As we see right there, at the start of battle, Bane takes a bonus turn 
not 100% turn meter. So this is great because we couldn't see what was going on behind the scenes at CG. We saw against Kenobi. He was still doing the, 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 the bonus turn, even though he's written 100% turn meter. So this is a fix your game moment that's working out for us. All right, people, I don't want to get you even more hype. You guys are probably screaming and yelling, oh, Bay, let's go! I'm stoked. I'm stoked. A couple more days till we get there. Just a little bit over a week until he's in our pockets. Let me know your thoughts down below. Hopefully, this gets you a little bit more excited for the future of Darth Bane, as it did for me. And more importantly, I guess we could say how it's great to be a Sith Lord today. Oh! Sun never sets